up YouTube? It's me, Kevin. It's 2024 and one of the hardest things to do is to keep the garment from moving when you're trying to print. Uh, it'll throw off your registration and they have spray adhesive and liquid adhesive. And if you had to use one of the two, I would highly recommend using the liquid adhesive so that it is less messy and it keeps your press looking a lot better and you don't breathe in any of the aerosol from the spray adhesive. But there's another product I found about a year ago. I just haven't used it yet. And it's called Print Grip. If you don't know about it, well, let me show you. When I was manual, I did the double-sided PMI tape, and it worked great. Uh, and when the PMI tape was to give out, I put glue on top of it to keep going without having to replace it as much. Now, when I went to an automatic, I tried the double-sided uh, PMI tape, but when it hit the Stampinator, it left crinkles in the print, and it was very mm, not desirable. So I had to scratch that idea and just go straight uh, pallet tape with uh, glue adhesive. I don't like the whole spray adhesive uh, very much. I try to avoid it at like all cost. Now, the downside to the glue is that it's just kind of leaves your palette all nasty and messy and I don't like nasty and messy. So if you do apply uh, glue, Uh, I know that a lot of people use uh, cards to apply it, but I highly recommend getting you one of these little rollers uh, at a hardware store. This is like a little five inch and just roll it on there as opposed to using the card and scraping it because the card will work, but it's kind of sporadic where it puts it, where the roller is quite consistent. You know, it, it, it just paints it on there flawlessly. Uh, I have been looking at this stuff for probably about a year now, and they do cost about 30 bucks per sheet. They come in three different uh, stickiness. There's the white that's not as sticky. There's the yellow, which is like a medium stick, and then there's a black uh, that is like super sticky. Uh, the reason I went with the medium is because I still want to see my lines underneath this when I'm lining my shirts and everything up. Uh, if I get the black, there's, I don't, there's no way I'm gonna be able to see my registration marks. The best thing about the print grip is the fact that it is consistent all the way from front to back. It is sticky, 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 sticky. Doesn't matter where it is. It's 100% the same all the way around as opposed to the glue that may miss a spot here and there. Now this is what it looks like uh, once it's cleaned and everything. This is uh, probably three or four hoodies at a time. So after about three hoodies, you know, obviously it's not, it's not sticky anymore. Uh, so you have to clean this off. When I did the PMI tape, I did tape all the way around to keep anything from snagging. Uh, I did the same thing with the print grip. Now cleaning this is super nice because once you spray water on there and scrub it with a pad, it looks just like this, brand new, like never even touched. So I'm gonna show you how to clean it. It's super easy. So all you wanna do is take a scrub pad and a bottle of water. 
and that's about it. Spray it. And scrub. I'm gonna stop right there so you can see the difference in it looking brand new and like that. I can see all my lines, everything's back to where it's supposed to be. So because it's still wet, it's it's not really sticky. Um, it's just like anything else. Once I put it under the flash, it'll resume it's sticky again. So let's put it under the flash. sticky again so I just put a t-shirt on here I didn't squeegee it or anything so it's just got uh, it's just there like it's stuck on there but it's not like on there hardcore now I took a squeegee Now it's as if I squeegeed it a couple times and obviously uh, I would put a lot more pressure than that on it if I was squeegeeing. Maybe, maybe not. But now the shirt's, it's on there. And I mean, it's not coming off unless I'm ready for it to. This thing works amazing. Boom. Ready for another shirt. Now, when it comes to t-shirts, uh, I have ran 300 front and back without any issues uh, having to clean it. It still held, it did great. I don't know how many you could put on there without having to clean it, but I don't really like to get that far into it without cleaning it. I do like to have them semi-clean, not all the time, but if I get through the front, I'll definitely clean them off and then do the back or vice versa. Um, but super sticky, uh, super consistent. The best way I could describe it is it's kind of like one of those little toys you used to have as a kid that would like stretch and stick to something and then you like pull it back and it would stick on until it got dirty. Uh, and then you could wipe those things off and they were sticky again. That's that's a lot, a lot, a lot I feel like it's a lot like what this is um, because it's kind of spongy-ish, uh, and it's like it's got pores throughout the whole thing. But, I don't know, that's just my opinion. I love it. Uh, I do want to tell you one thing uh, about the auto that I didn't know as a manual screen printer, is that there is a lock and unlock button on this thing. So right now, my press is off, but I can do this with the press on or off, and that's the fact that I can just spin it by hand like i didn't know this was a thing i thought this was like just a manual thing but apparently it's an auto thing too who knew so if you had to buy anything in 2024 that is a purchase that i would highly recommend uh the print grip works great it has worked great for me since i've used it uh at the beginning of the year it's only been a couple days but uh, nothing but good things to say about it. I uh, hope that it will last me an entire year, but that's to be determined. Obviously, uh, it will only last, uh, you know, depending on how much you use it and how well you use it. Uh, one thing I didn't show because I don't have any of them, but 
they say that if you actually put uh, too much pressure and get ink through the garment onto it, you can use some on press wash to actually get the ink off of it. There are some videos out there showing that. Um, I didn't have any way of showing it because I don't have any prints that went through the shirt. But um, that's pretty neat. And uh, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. What? Uh, I know I don't push out videos like I'm an actual YouTuber because I let's be honest, I'm not. But uh, once I get a thousand subscribers, which is only a few clicks away, um, I think I'll start pushing out more videos. At that point, uh, it'll be worth it, I think. Well, till next time. Peace! Dropped it. Like that. Yeah.